All right, welcome, welcome. Well, we had a very successful uh, late stream last night. We're back at it early in the morning because uh, I just want to get the regular season over with so we can move on to the playoffs. If you didn't see the last episode, I would go watch it. You can watch it on Twitch. You can go watch it on YouTube. Um, we uh, have the best record in the National League by what is that? five games over the Dodgers. It's not even close. Same record as the Rangers because we just got swept by the Rangers. Right here. One, two, three. Um, but we took care of business with the National League guys. Uh, we have one more game left against Cincinnati. Uh, we're done with Pittsburgh. And the Cubs are eliminated from the division and the wild card, I believe. Washington's terrible. Colorado's terrible. San Diego's terrible. So the only difficult games this entire month are going to be the Dodgers, which we have six, I'm sorry, seven games against the Dodgers and three against the Braves. Um, so we're going to sim up until one of these two games. We're not going to do Fromber again. We did him last one. So I'm going to play one of these two games, probably the Tanner Bybee game. And then we'll play one of these Braves games. And then we'll play one of these weekend games against the Dodgers. And we'll sim the rest. We'll play three full games. i got to get back into playing full games for the playoffs. Um, been doing too many, too many player locks. I'm getting out of uh, playing full game mentality. So that's what we're going to do. You missed yesterday's stream. We did August yesterday, September today. Once we get done with the regular season, we'll sim forward in the playoffs to see who we play in the first round for us. The LDS. The LDS will get played tomorrow night, Friday night, probably around 8 p.m. Central Time. We'll play that series, uh, which is a best of five. And then Saturday, probably... Dinner time Saturday. We win the first round. We'll play the NLCS on Saturday. And if we win the NLCS on Saturday, the World Series will be at noon Central Time on Sunday. Um, I want to get this entire season over with. What's up, Tight Spot? How you doing? I want to get this entire season over with before the college football game launches on Monday. So I'll probably put all this stuff out on YouTube a day later. Um or put it private and have it go live the next morning or afternoon or some shit. 4K away, there you go. I got to give you a reason to spend those channel points. So um, once we get into college football, then I'll let people start redeeming points for getting players and stuff on their teams and stuff, and we'll have fun doing that, all that again. So um, if you missed last episode, let me move my camera. back down here for a minute and that this list was incredibly larger we had six guys hurt so um if you didn't see it walker bueller came back the very last day of august so he's one of our september call-ups uh probably gonna move painter to the bullpen um brendan donovan broke his hand in the middle of last stream and I don't know if he'll be back for the playoffs. He might miss all of September and all of the playoffs. What's up, 5-9? Nine, nine, how you doing? Doing great. Yeah, this is a revamp TV gave me this pimp in 316 shirt. I, uh, I have some boom shirts that I created, but my uh, sister had to make those by hand. Yeah, I am definitely ready for the new game. I just want to get in, and I'm going to stream on Monday, provided the servers are up. I'm going to stream on Monday, and we're going to do recruiting. I'm just going to sim games. We're just going to pick a random team just for that stream so we can go in and go through the recruiting process. Just sim the game, get on to the next week. Sim the game, get on to the next, and we can work on the, on the recruiting. Um, I will be doing a Mizzou Dynasty, my team. That's how I started with NCA 14 on Twitch was with Mizzou. Um, not sure how many years we'll play with them. We'll just kind of go and see how it goes. If 
I'll stay there or if I'll leave and go somewhere else. I don't know. Um, and then I have a team builder team and they finally release that website and I can go out there and make it. Um, um, we'll have a tech, I'm sorry, a Memphis tech Pharaohs and that'll be down the road. Yeah. Gameplay looks great. I need to know how it feels in my hand because I know how Madden feels in my hand and it's garbage. <laughs> I just went out and played a uh, play now game on Madden the other night. And the passing in that game is broken because the fucking DBs and linebackers are way too psychic. They, they pick everything off. Um, don't get separation. It's just a dog shit game. So I'm hoping this game plays better. But you never know until you get your hands on the game and you start playing it. So we'll see. I, I would imagine by the end of next week, I will know how good the gameplay is. If the gameplay is not satisfactory... What's up, Batten? How you doing? If the gameplay is not satisfactory, we will still do Sim Dynasties, where we just Sim the games. Um, we might watch them. Um, we might just advance the week. Um... But we'll still do sim so we can do recruiting and all that good stuff and go through all the, the cool dynasty features. But I, I really want to play because I'm in the NWO. We're going to be switching to that. But if the game plays ass. Um, oh, Batten, this is nothing. Uh, we just got Walker Bueller and Yenier Cano back from injury. Um, at one point, we had Bueller, Cano, Romano. And somebody else. We had a bunch of guys, a bunch of pitchers hurt. Oh, Painter was out for a few days. So we had Painter, Bueller, Cano, and, and Romano all injured on our pitching staff. And Donovan might not be back from that fractured hand until after the playoffs. So we'll, we'll have to see. And Luke and Baker's our AAA first baseman. He's out for the year. So the one that really hurts the most is Brennan Donovan because he's such a good, important bat at the top of the order. Here you can see. Donovan right there hitting 304 with 15 home runs. Um, look at this. Gorman, we are at the start of September, and he has 43 and 115. <laughs> and Jordan Walker just needs one RBI for 100. Um, but Gorman's not even the uh, MVP because Corbin Carroll's hitting 351 and slugging 700. <laughs> so... Yeah, there's that. Pitching wise, um, Valdez, we usered with him, and he's done well this last month in the sim. Manoa has been mostly good since we traded for him. Bybee, um, his ERA was 12 back in April, and he's got 15 wins. Um, Painter's been up and down. Cutliff has done really well in the sim this last month, and he always does well when we use her. And Walker Bueller was was great when he was before he got hurt. So he's going back into rotation and we're moving Painter to the bullpen. Um, and Matsui has become our closer because Romano got hurt and Duval had an ERA over six at one point. And he's he's been giving up too many home runs and he has ninety three home runs. I don't know why. I don't understand. So um, we. Called up Moises Gomez, so we have an extra outfielder. And activated Bueller off the uh, injured list. So those are our two September call-ups. You can see right there, we have an 11-game lead over the Reds, 11.5 over the Pirates. Uh, magic numbers, 13 and 12. So there's that. Um, let me get back to the chat here. Yeah, gameplay looked good, but it's it's how it feels when you play, man. O line has to be, yeah. O line has to be better. I don't mind if there's specific players that are just monsters because you have that in real life, but I don't need everybody shedding blocks um, at the drop of a hat. Uh, we don't need corners running the routes better than the wide receivers. Pitch plays have to have to work. You can't just pitch it out there and have everybody just cut through the blocks and bring them down. Um, the wear and tear, I'm going to tell you right now, if it's off the hook, I'm turning it off. 
if it's if it's uh, overpowered it will be turned off so i am interested in the portal because there are times when you're not finding what you need recruiting and if you can go find somebody that's already ready to come in and start that would be nice that would also um allow you to let some guys go in the draft um because that helps your pro potential rating, right? So if you let them go and they get drafted high and you have somebody else that can step in and you don't drop off too much, then that's actually better for you to let them go. Um, so we'll see. I do know that the draft is not based on their height and weight like it was in NCAA 14. They've used um, more of their overall and uh, other things that, you know, they've used draft data. So that should help. Um, you know, you get that Heisman quarterback that's a little undersized and he doesn't go in the draft for some stupid reason. So, we'll see. We'll see. We only got a few more days, man. Cannot wait. I am done playing that game right now. I have my PS3 sitting right here. And um, as soon as the NWO advances past our bowl weeks, I'm going to go move it over there underneath my big screen TV. Clear off some desk space over here. Um, and it'll just get pushed aside and it'll be there in case the new game sucks. You're going to have Nebraska dominate. There you go. Tom Osborne. Yeah. It was not fun to be a, uh, Mizzou fan, big 12 fan back in the eighties. Cause between Barry Switzer and Tom Osborne, they just kind of ran right through people. Those, they had better third stringers than we did first stringers. So <laughs> I'm not, I'm having PTSD from all that shit. All right, enough of the college football. Let's get in and finish this month off, finish the regular season. Um, where's Bybee at on the awards? There's Corbin Carroll for MVP. American League is Julio Rodriguez. He just jumped over Corey Seager. Lozardo jumped over Bybee. So I need to get his ERA below three. Javier in American League. Nemo. Jumped over Carroll for batting average. Phillips is the closer. Class A there. Loftus is National League rookie. Pole wins the American League. So. <clears throat> hey, my Mizzou Tigers might win 11, 12 games this year. Counting their bowl game. If they get in a playoff, it could be more. Oh, all right. And we keep bringing in four stars this offseason for next year. It's ridiculous. We're we're hitting the transfer portal hard. All right, let's get in here. So last month we started, look at this, we had two losses in the first two and a half weeks. And then we lost four in a row, five in a row. And then we won five of seven. So very streaky month. Game drop. It drops Monday at 3 p.m. Central Time for people that bought the uh, deluxe version and get the extra. Otherwise, if you have standard version, you got to wait till the 19th. So I will have it Monday at 3 p.m. and I will be live at Monday at 3 p.m. Hopefully, the servers will stay up and we'll be able to do some playing. So, anyway, let's get on with this baseball and get this damn season over. Come on, Tanner. We need a good win here. And we lose 8-3. to three. See what happened. Gorman and Davis homered. Yeah, Painter and Relief wasn't very good. Let me adjust this. We don't need you pitching there. Let's shove you down here. Put Mason Miller up here. No, Team Builder is not open yet, and they need to open it because um, people need to have time to create their shit, so I think Stoner Gamer was hoping for it to go live sometime today, which would be a week before the general release, right? So if it goes live today, I know when I'm, or not today, tomorrow, Friday. So if it goes live on Friday, I know what I'm doing all day Friday until I stream. <laughs> All right, Walker Bueller's first start back from the DL. And we lose three to one. 
Jordan Walker is now a 100 RBI guy. Mason Miller. I mean, Bueller didn't pitch bad at all. Four walks is a bit much. All right, Cutliff. Man, he's pitched well in the sim after not doing so well. Walker, Naylor, Burleson with home runs. Cutliff, ERA creeping down below four. He might jump into the rookie of the year thing if he keeps going. 11 and 7. What was the rest of his stats? Cutliff. 137 and 142. Only 11 home runs. 49 walks. 118 strikeouts. He got wrecked when he pitched yesterday. Yeah. It's, it's, ooh, his home runs per nine went up six. Kind of like that. Pitching clutch is getting higher. Yeah, I even get wrecked in this game. Even on, you know, pitching on legend, some gays, it's, it's a fucking nightmare. All right. And we win the series. Edmund with a home run. Manoa pitched great. Matt Sui with another save. Real, real life stats. Oh, he pitched in real life? Ah, yikes. 11 runs and uh, four and a third is not good. All right, 10-game lead on the Reds. What's our magic number? Magic number, that's the one in the middle next to games back. The E number says elimination number. It's actually magic number. That's the real term. So any combination of 10 Cardinal wins and 10 Reds losses, wins and losses equaling 10, and we will uh, eliminate the Reds. We only need three to get rid of the Brewers. So, what's the wild card looking at? Uh, where are the Braves? They leading. The, they must be leading the division. Look at all these teams fighting for the playoffs. Yeah, Braves overtook the Phillies. Okay. All right, we're not doing that one. We're going to do this game with Tanner Bybee. Try and get him his 16th win. So, all right, Fromber, can you pitch well at Colorado? No. Jesus. You got him and Miller both got a bite taken out of him. All right, let me save and we'll get into the first game. All right, going to face Chase Dolander. I hate the green pants. Let's just go back and go with this one. And I'm feeling like wearing. Do I wear that? Yeah, let's wear those throwbacks, 1942s. All right, here we go. Yeah, the kid that plays for the Rays that um, I know. I grew up playing with my son. He's had an up-and-down year, too. He was player of the week early in the season for uh, double-A... Uh, league that he's in but then uh in in june he had a collision with the first baseman who's as big as i am and he hyperextended his knee and he's been struggling hitting ever since then he hit a home run yesterday but all right i miss playing in this park and hitting tanks man Guy, no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the number, 
numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to ah, stay back. We'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Yeah, his average went from 290 down to about 250 because he slumped so bad with after the injury. He's slowly getting back into it. Slider misses outside. Hey, at least he's playing every day. He'll he'll hit his way out of it. He did last year too. Yeah. Franco won't make any of that money if he gets convicted. They'll have a morals clause in the uh, contract that'll void that deal completely. I don't know what these guys think sometimes. It's just like athletes that have drunk driving, especially pro athletes that have the money to pay for somebody to drive them around. What the fuck? You know you're going out? Just just rent a limo or some shit. It's no reason for you to drive drunk as a pro athlete. I can I, I understand as a college athlete because, you know, I was I was someone in the twenties going to college, drinking a lot, having fun. Think you can do it. Oh, as I taught my my uh, sons, especially my younger son, it's like, dude, nothing good happens after midnight when you're out running around. <laughs> yeah. Only trouble after midnight when you're running around. If you're at home, it's one thing. Ah. Um, he wasn't drinking. I read the story. The the Vikings corner from Oregon, he was just a passenger in a car that got hit by someone else who was drinking and driving. So the drunk driver hit them, forced them off the road. They hit a bunch of tree stumps. I mean, that's why all of them passed away in that car. But they weren't doing anything other than being out, you know, late night. It was the uh, other driver that was drunk. Yeah, wrong place, wrong time. Like the pitcher for the Angels a few years ago. Drunk driver slams into his car and he dies. Nick Aiden Hart is his name. We're trying to get Bybee a Cy Young here, so we need to really pitch well in this game and not walk people. Oh, not the start we were looking for. Fuck. Yeah, I know. I remember Oscar. He would be about done with his career by now. He affected uh, a lot of shit. But he was he was drunk and speeding and. The roads down there in the Dominican are not the best either, so. But. He killed himself and a girl. I was watching a playoff game when that came across Twitter. I was floored. Here we go. That helps with men on second and third. Brian Cruz digging in for the Rockies. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. All right, what do we do? 0 oh and 2. I'm making chase, right? Just like that. Second and third, nobody out. Two Ks. That's what we need. They don't move up. This is a catcher that was drafted in uh, first draft, I think. Doesn't have a high overall. It's one of those guys that high floor, very low ceiling. Struck out the side after the man on second and third start to the inning. Let's go.
set for the start of the inning. Here's the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. And that's in for a strike. Arenado measures six feet two. I haven't decided. I don't think we're bringing Arenado back. I think we're going to go with the JC or Gorman at third and the other one at second. Um, Here's the 0 2. And that's downed away. One ball, two strikes to count. And I'm pretty resigned to the fact that we're going to trade Wilson Contreras in the offseason and get rid of that $17 million. So that'll free up about $50 million for those two players right there. I'm going to have to pay uh, Gorman and Walker here in a minute, so I think Gorman's contract is up one year before Walker's. Oh, wait on that pitch. God damn. That was a meatball just sitting there like that, and I didn't get all of that. Is that going to be a double, though? Yes. I've played in this park enough times that I know exactly when a well, shot's a home run or not. That could be a dangerous pitch if you don't get it inside enough. Because as a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. Come on, Mason. We can be patient. Got Burleson on deck. Yeah, play. I wasn't sure if I was going to start this early or I was going to start at noon. I got to go watch. I got to go watch five grandkids tonight. <laughs> Four girls and one boy. Well, my son and his his uh, his wife go uh, hang out with some friends. That's it. Get down. So, yeah, I got to watch them for about four hours. But they go to bed at like eight. So, the last hour is just going to be me dicking around on my phone. There we go. Two out RBI. Another two out hit. Back to the top of the order. That's why I would have played this uh, month of September tonight. But I didn't want to start. At like 9.30 or 10. Oh, got under it. Come on. So. Tomorrow night will be our first round of the playoffs. And I'll start that like around 8 o'clock or so. Central time. This is a guy the Cardinals, one of the guys the Cardinals traded for... Uh, Arenado, Montero, and Gomber, and a couple other nobodies. It's out of play. Okay, we're chase. How about change up? Chase a change up? There you go, ground ball to win. Got him. Let's go. We need a lot of strikeouts, too. Strikeouts count for the uh, Cy Young. And RBI count for MVP. I'm going to win those two. And a lot of strikeouts, a lot of RBI. Wow, he didn't, he didn't go, huh? Not this one. There you go. <laughs> That's at least five strikeouts in two innings. All right, Jordan, let's go. Need more runs. Now 
That's going to drop. There we go. This is the one stadium where the outfielders typically play as deep as they normally do. Have a hard time getting those balls to drop in smaller stadiums. All right, Josh. Go. Had to wait to see if he's going to catch that. He's out, but we got the run. I don't care. I was trying to get Walker to go. Had to hold up to see if he caught the ball. Had a ball last night where I thought there was no way the guy was going to catch it and make a diving catch and got a double play. So I'm not going to do that again. Yeah, play. Come on. Throw something a little more inside but straight. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just hitting L1 for everybody to advance. There we go. Got to keep that batting average up. Yeah, the run, the running in this game is is not the uh, the best. Because I'd love to steal second base with men on the corners, but when I try to do it, I end up sending them both, no matter what I do. Shit. And. Uh, They don't make it easy. I have not had breakfast, so bad shit starts happening. I'm going to get hangry pretty quick. Hit that like a slow pitch softball. All right. Got another run in. Should have had more, but I'll take the extra run. Six K's. So the lineup flips over. So in now for Colorado, Sean Bouchard. This is the guy we walked. The Rockies down by a pair here in the last half of the third. Next offering is in for a strike. Let's go up and in. Got him. Seven Ks. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boo. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already. So he's got a good pace going, no doubt. In the air, right field. New far on the move. Makes the grab, and that's the end. All right. Fly ball to right, and the ground ball to short are the only non-strikeout outs. So we're dealing. No hitter is not in the books anymore after that first inning. So we don't have to worry about that drama. He's got to come in now. Like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. That one ripped. It might be off the wall. Yes. There we go. Start the inning with a double. Gotta like that. All right, Alec. This guy's tearing it up in real life. Try to pull that and get the, get the runner to third base with less than two out. Let's, let's try not to strike out. There we go. That's what we needed. Don't care about the out. We need to move the runner up. And we get a ground ball past the pitcher or a fly ball to the outfield. We get our third run. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Contreras in the box now as he looks at ball one. 
Second plate appearance of the day for him. No swing. Bullshit. Such garbage. It was not a swing. Check swings in this game are broken. Get that runner home. Fast runner. Kept him from throwing home. All right, a double and two ground outs, and we manufacture a run. Let's see if we can get a two-out rally going. Nope. Nope, that's okay. I'll take one run per inning. Works out for me. Get that picket fence, one run each inning. Like that? Let's throw another one down and away this time. Tried to bounce that one. Let's go with a cutter. I'm sorry, slider. Third, third. Arnano, scoop and throw. There we go. Float that change up in there. See if he likes curveball. He does. He'll just take an easy ground out. And we are rolling along, boys. That's four quick innings. Let's go. Come on, Jaywalk. Two for two. Yeah, Bryant can't stay healthy. I don't think Bryant uh, really wants to play baseball anymore, to be honest with you. What a pitch. I think he was uh, upset after leaving the Cubs. I don't think he wants to play ball anymore. Here's a question for you. Who had the uh, most talent that wasn't realized between Byron Buxton and Chris Bryant? Because Buxton can't stay healthy ever. He threw. <laughs> Fucking double play. What a play. Exactly. Man Cave, welcome in. Yeah. We gotta give Man Cave a shout out here. Shout out Bat Gaming 2. Grand Theft Auto, nice. Haven't played that in a while. to play that on PS4. EC. Friday Eve. Hey, we're going to start our playoffs tomorrow night. We're going to get through this September today. We're going to do the first round tomorrow night. Hopefully the NLCS on Saturday and hopefully the World Series on Sunday. And we'll have uh, all of our schedule cleared for college football on Monday and next week. So, I have some pretty new uh, 
streaming screens all set up for when I do my Mizzou Dynasty. I showed those last night. I'll show them to you guys again today. Maybe I'll I'll do it after this game. I'll do it real quick. Got a new uh, stream is starting intro song to play because someone named Mr. Hurricane took my intro music and he uses it for the uh, his Ryan Helsley closer entrance theme. Dude needs to quit stealing my shit. He can't play the game. <laughs> Next for the Rockies is the D. He's great at storytelling, but he can't play the game with this shit. Hmm, chase that pitch. Hung that changeup. Luckily was outside. There we go. Another strikeout. Number eight. I don't know. Traded for Arelvis Martinez after I did. S traded for Mason Miller after I did. <laughs> Using my music. I don't know. Whatever. Alright. I was happy to see a Saints lose to the Seahawks in the playoffs because he kind of fucked that team over with, with uh Bad decisions on team building. All right, Lars. Off his leg. That's a base hit. He's like 30-something. During the COVID lockdown bullshit, I, was, I watched all of his the Madden franchises from all the years man i would just put a playlist on and hit play and just let it roll through non-stop <clears throat> you gotta get more runs i'm gonna throw you another one you like that pitch so well all right A uh, slider this time. Backed it up. Oh, missed it. How did he miss that ball? How did he miss that ball? We're going to go curveball here. If we don't get it, we're going to go fastball there. Oh, Lars. What the fuck is that? I just threw it to the cutoff man. That's all I did was throw it to the cutoff man. The defense in this game makes no sense at all. Especially for users in franchise. Because the CPU hardly ever makes an error. And they make stupid, ridiculous plays right and left. And then you see shit like that. No, it's not going to be two when he had to go that far. We'll, we'll just deal with, I'm going to get one out at a time. No, I think my my theory on why they're doing that is they're gearing up for next gen only next year, and so they're spending all their time behind the scenes working on on that. I could be a hundred percent wrong, but that's that's my theory. There we go. Struck him out three straight times. Puny, welcome in. I never play head to head online. Um I tried. I used to play uh, 
battle royale and stuff like that, but I don't I don't do it anymore because it's bunt cheesers and lag, and I just know. All right, we need to get some more runs. Bybee is getting to the end of his time. If we can score some more runs here, I might just take him out after six. Just so I don't screw up his start. Yeah, it would be nice to transfer your franchises. They did adjust the uh, st uh, stadium creator. So if you watched me play my A's last year, I had my own stadium. Look at that thing. That just barely didn't go out. And it was just a high fly ball. Um, so if you watch my A's franchise from last year, that stadium that I created, the Treehouse Park, the uh, retractable dome thing, um, I was able to bring that over into the new one. Um, I was already expecting to have to create a new ballpark, but um, didn't have to. So, who's on first? You know what? Time out. Let's bring in Victor Scott. And now we're going to steal. There we go. There's an RBI. Now it's four to nothing. <laughs> That's why we did that. And we're going to steal a Tommy, too. Get down. Safe. There we go. What's that give him? 29. All right. Should get him 30 for the year soon enough. Jaywalk. There we go. Send him. Make him throw us out. Five to nothing. Yeah, we're gonna take Bybee out. I want to wreck his uh, performance. Oops. Should get the dub here, and uh, he's getting to the end of his rope on pitches anyway. And more interested in keeping his ERA down. Cardinals. I have no idea. If they trade Jordan Walker, they're fucking idiots. I don't trust this front office. I hate our manager. I'm more interested in see who we're going to pick at number seven overall on Sunday. Uh, first couple of rounds, I think first two rounds are Sunday at six central. Then the rest would come Monday. We got Chase Burns, Hagen Smith, Nick Kurtz, Montgomery, Weatherhall. There's a bunch of guys to choose from. Most of them are hitters, which I uh, sent a message to San Diego Studios and said, man, your draft classes need to be fixed because you don't generate enough good hitters in the draft to replace the guys that regress. Um, 56 overall with 98 potential takes... Way longer to uh, get in the league. Look at Wyatt Langford's already in the majors. They don't have enough young, good hitters that are ready to come up within, you know, two years, right? And they don't progress fast enough in the minors. <sighs> um. So, Cardinals aren't very good. Don't don't let their record fool you. <laughs> Pitching staff is smoke and mirrors. We need two bullpen arms. We need at least one or two pitchers. Seventh inning. 84 pitches. We'll go one batter at a time. 
As soon as he gives up a hit, I'll yank him. He's definitely done after this inning. So if he gets through seven, he's finished. But that's foul. Yeah, our manager is a total douchebag. Can't stand that piece of shit. I'm like torn. I want us to do well, but I want him gone. Everybody goes to like two years ago. Oh, they made the playoffs. We had Pujols and Molina running that team. It wasn't the manager. All right, chase that shit. Um, and you saw what happened last year after they were gone. He's a douchebag. Oh. Not going to get there. All right, he's done. He's out of energy. And he's done. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Lars. Way out in front of that changeup. That's going to get caught. I have seen exactly one game in this stadium. I had some friends that, uh, I went to college in Colorado. I just have a bunch of friends out there, and I was visiting some. I saw a Rockies-Astros game back in 2000 and 2006. Like May of 2006. I bought tickets off a scalper outside the stadium, sat behind home plate, just to the right, like behind the dugout, but closer towards the home plate than directly behind the dugout. So. Yeah, I hate the Broncos in the uniforms. They suck. They're terrible. They're doing everything they can to force me away as a fan. <laughs> New pitcher. What have we got? Three righties. Let's try to get Duvall working. There we go. What a stupid decision. You're down five to nothing and you get thrown out by fifteen feet. <laughs> How terrible was that? Mason Wynn's got a cannon too. Look at that through a seed to third base, man. All right. He went. Ring him up. There we go. All right. 
Shelly Duvall passed away. She was also Olive Oil in a Popeye movie with Robin Williams. Oh, Wilson got that one. Yeah, and that, we're going to uh, let Arenado walk, and we're going to trade Contreras and free up $50 million so I have money to pay Gorman and Walker. Um, I think I'm going to move Gorman to third and put Sejaci at second. Funny thing is I could trade not a whole lot and get uh, Devers if I wanted to. <laughs> those guys with those big, long contracts, the computer loves to trade those guys away. Oh, Henry Davis is going to be our catcher, and we'll go sign a backup. Yeah, Davis's overall is already higher than Contreras. We traded uh, Herrera to Toronto in the Manoa deal so he could go be the starting catcher for Toronto. He was out of options, too, and I wanted to get Davis back to the majors. <clears throat> There might be a little bit of a gap once we get done with this season before we play next season because of the new college football game. I'll probably uh, not stream this baseball for a good week or so. I might do the off season, but we won't start the next season right away because I want to dive into the college football game. There we go. Plus, the college football game always draws way more views on YouTube. I had a random Arkansas episode get almost 9,000 views, and it's not even promoted. It's just an archive of a stream. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, I'll be going back to just normal status because everybody knew me for recruiting for 14, and we'll all be learning from day one again. Come on, throw me a strike. I don't want to take another walk. I want to drive this fucking ball out of the park. Ah! Not wanting to walk, and then we do that. All right. To get another run. It's Dallas. <clears throat> and welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom and Duvall only threw nine pitches, so we'll let him finish the game. Ryan Dela Cruz. That one finds the zone. One. And that's strike one. Duvall, an all star a season ago. He features a slider, a cutter, and he works at a sinker. Bounce to the right. <clears throat> Throws the first. One up, one down. I'm not so worried. Uh, the only thing I... Once they gave, showed all the stuff for Dynasty and how deep it is, that's awesome. But the only thing that really matters is gameplay. Because if it doesn't play good... Here's the thing. We want the gameplay to be really good, so they have to change Madden. I think the numbers for Madden this year are going to be terrible because everybody's going to be playing college football. Back in the day when they were both coming out yearly. There we go. And that's a winner. That's a winner. Yeah, back in the day when both games were coming out on a yearly basis, the college football game was head and shoulders better. And as lazy as the Madden crew has gotten in the last decade, we need this new game to kick its ass. We only hit one home run. Bybee, seven innings, five hits, no runs, one walk, and that was the first batter of the game. 
11 strikeouts, and now he's got 16 wins. See what that does to the uh, Cy Young. He's not going to get 20, but he might get 18. Yeah, these strikeouts from Strider are just killing him. All right, that was our 90th win. Brewers would have to win every game, and we'd have to lose every game to tie. So they're about eliminated. Reds and the Pirates will be gone soon. Reds and Pirates are battling for the wild card. So, all right. Walker, we lose 7-2. to two. Naylor and Gorman with home runs. That was rough. All right, at the Dodgers, Cutliff and Yamamoto. Cutliff does it again. Burleson and Contreras with homers, two runs and six innings. Doesn't get the win, but he pitched great. Ten saves from Matsui. Does that get him in the in the uh, rookie of the year? No. How is he not in this race? He's definitely better than Jarvis. All right. Manoa and Glass now, and we lose one to nothing. That was definitely a pitcher's duel. All right, 91 and 57. So now our five-game lead is dropped to a two-game lead over the Dodgers. And we're one game behind the Rangers, who clinched their division. Let's save. I'm sure they'll stop, unless the new game is complete ass and people want to keep doing it, but I'm sure everybody's going to want to play the new game. All right. Are we really going to lose two series in a row here? Come on, Fromber. That's what I'm talking about. Five to four win. Jordan Walker with a home run and four RBI. Miller gets the win in relief. Matsui, 11 saves, all since the middle of last month. All right, so Cutliff, Bybee, Manoa, Fromber. So this would be Bybee. Bueller. So we can we can pitch. I'm going to pitch with Cutliff here, and we'll pitch at home with Bueller there, and then we'll send the rest out. <clears throat> All right. Lose seven to five, two home runs allowed. Naylor and Contreras with home runs. Miller takes a loss. RBI, it's a run battered in. So when you somebody's on base and you get a hit and the guy scores, that's a run battered in. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna pitch this game. So hold on, Walker. And we lose. Getting cold at the wrong time. Fuck, gave up a lot of home runs that game. Strider doesn't pitch as well. Matsui got blown save, three in the ninth. God damn. All right, let's save. We don't need to get cold on our pitching staff at this time of year, guys. You had a great month of August. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, we're going to pitch with Cut yeah, Cutliff here. Cutliff and Bueller. Stim out. There's our Rickwood Stadium uniforms. Um, let's wear these when I was a kid. I used to play high school volleyball. Yeah, my high school volleyball season kicks off with a Saturday tournament um, August 31st. Um, I actually have more college matches, almost twice as many college matches, um, 
as I do high school this fall. It's really strange. Okay, we'll go to this. Aiden Church. Don't give a shit about him. Rough others, but no. Volleyball year round. So I do high school and college for girls, women in the fall. And then I do club for the girls over the winter because I refuse to do the boys club. Coaches and players are assholes. And uh, then in the spring, I do men's college and boys high school and girls club. <laughs> and then I'm off every June and July and most of August. It's like a teacher schedule. I'm actually looking for a full-time job, in which case I would not do high school refing at all. I would just do uh, college and club. There we go. Downstairs, and the count is one and two. O2 oh, fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Got him. There we go. Let's go. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Now two away. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. Receive. Albies kills me all the time. Albies and Olsen are the two I hate on the Braves the most. So two down, and next will be the cleanup hitter. Michael Harris flips the corner, strike one. Flares it into the outfield. There we go. All right. Uneventful. Gave up that little two-out flare. Back here at Bush Stadium. And today's Come on, Tommy. Kirsten Waldrop. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Waldrop did a number on us in the playoffs last year. So far this year, as evidenced by that. Yeah, it's not going to be deep enough. He's going to have to find a way. Especially with Harris in center field. Wynn is blowing out the left pretty decently. So, 107 ribs for Walker. What's he at? All right, if he hits a home run, one more home run to get the 30. Oh, way out in front of that. Stay back. Braves are fighting for a wild card and a division. Down bases empty. Josh Naylor with four runs driven in on four hits to this point oh, in the series. Oh. Just miss. Nope. Center field. <clears throat> Harris makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Back here in St. Louis, top of the second. Here's Orlando Arcia. That one finds the zone. One one. In his rookie season, only 20 years old. And he was born in Puerto Rico. Rip to third. Arenado to there first. Go. In time. One out in the second. Here's Jerry Kelman. No, there's no Acuna in this lineup. Or Olsen. That one to first, Naylor. <clears throat> he takes it on his own. Two up, two down in the top of the second. Two out, space is empty. Nick Castellanos, the next to hit. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Mm. 
that's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Ground ball to the right. Here we go. All right. Come on. Get the bat's going. Let's go, Nolan. You're under 300, man. You've been slumping. Try to get out in front. Just hooked it way foul. Let's go. Rushed. Foul. Woo. Almost painted. To fight that off, they don't want to get that called. Ooh, that might be out of here, folks. Get up, get up, get up. There it is. <laughs> get up, baby. Get up. Get up. He's got power to every field. Bam. Oh, did we go back to back? Yes, we did. Hey, Newt, can we go three for three here? It's not even 11 o'clock, but if we hit three in a row, I'll do a shot of tequila for you guys. Oh, got out of it. Didn't have to do the shot. <laughs> a little early for tequila. Just a bit early. Not fooling us this inning. Alec Burleson, next up and Alec, you've been slumping too. We need Donovan back badly. Might have to put Sajacy back in and move Gorman to DH. Ah. Too slow to beat that out. All right, back to back homers gives us the lead. Gotta like that. Hung that. God damn. Totally missed my spot. That was a deep shot. How far was that? 430? 445? Yeah, we left that curveball way up in the strike zone. Never good. Wouldn't advise to do that too often. Sitting off speed. 
So now one and two. Off the outside part of the plate. The Cards leading by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the second out. Now here is Christian Arroyo. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. And that's in for a strike. No ball. Two straight. Missed with a changeup, and it's one and two. I'm going to double up on that pitch. That was a good pitch. Light drive, base hit. And with the inning still alive, here comes the heart of the order. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch to play lately. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Got him. There we go. Who's pinging me on Discord? The Braves closer, and it's now a 2-1 ball game. W.O. Back after this on the show. Oh, Q. Well, uh, welcome in, Q. And welcome back to giving me a uh, giving me a clip here. This is just for Q. Get shit off my screen. And by the way, they're real oh. and they're spectacular. <laughs> and fires that oh. one misses and that's ball two oh. and that's outside oh. and the three one that, one Ooh. that might be out of here deep to the track to the wall gone <laughs> Q was playing Fortnite with the boys. You're playing Pint Night? There you go. Yeah. And Walker needs one for 30. Though after giving up the home run, not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. The 1 0. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, a head 2 0. Take the hit. Get down, get down. There we go. <coughs> <laughs> and stepping in for the Cardinals, Josh Naylor. He's over one. In the air, out towards right center. Dives and he can't hang on. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Here's Nolan Gorman. He's hey, Nolan, let's go. Damn it! You refuse to kill anything? That's the whole point of the game, is to kill people. <laughs> Jesus. We pissed away that opportunity. Swinging at two pitches I shouldn't have been swinging at. Contreras gives us a two-run lead. Yeah, never been a Yankees fan. Towards left center. 
Edmund going after it. Hey, I downloaded a game and, and uh, played, and they never invite me to play, so I don't worry about it anymore. I just put the game away. Whatever. I have to play in the computer, though. I can't shoot using uh, a console. I can't aim with my thumbs. I need, I need a keyboard and mouse. <laughs> Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Well, those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. <coughs> Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Base is empty one away, top half of inning number four. Got him. Let's go. How many K's is that? Five. It's not a strikeout pitcher, but he is when we pitch with him. And the first pitch misses for ball one. There's a foul ball. Left-hand hitter waits. That one's in there. And the count, one and two. Uh, the Brewers seem somehow to be good every year. Doing it without Corbin Burns is uh, and Woodruff, who's injured, is uh, pretty impressive, but... We just don't know how to put a pitching staff together anymore. Hill Lars. All right. Making dinner. There you go. Hey, I'm all by myself for the next four days. It's me and the dogs. The only all-star we have is our closer, Ryan Helsley. Mason Wynn should have been, but since he's a rookie, he's not going to be on the team right away. Tried to foul that off. He notches strikeout number 150 this season. Mason Wynn next up for the Cardinals. Swing and a miss. Let's go. He was out front that time. Ground ball left side. Roll that shit over. Come on. Time to Arroyo. Already two gone here in the home fourth. So now here's the Cardinals designated hitter, Alec Burleson. 0 for 1 so far. And first offering is fouled off. This game is like grinding to a halt. That game in Colorado was flying, and this game is just taking forever. This is important. If he can go 1, 2, 3 here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. At the belt and finals. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. You get enough of that? Is that going to be in the bullpen? No, up against the wall. What a catch. Nice running catch on the play. That's the dude that homered off us. Get there, Tommy. There we go. Got the call. There we go. In today's game, you look at exit velocity as a measure of process, and if guys are hitting the ball hard, eventually the results usually follow. Gary Sanchez, he is the guy that hits the Got him. Got it by it's a high two-seamer. Typically that high fastball, if it's close to the top. All right, this is the guy we gave up the home run to because we hung the curveball. This time I bounced it. Decrease in velocity as that hitter's 
internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. And that is in for a strike. And a count two and one. To the right side. We go. Cut left covers. One run allowed through five. Good start. Good start. Get out of play. Get out of play. Go. Drift. 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 There we go. I gotta get a uh, First offering in the dirt. I gotta snap a picture of someone after this game, so I got a thumbnail. That's gonna be caught, isn't it? Got it. Covered plenty of distance there. These fucking outfielders, the ball hangs in the air too much and they run too goddamn fast. But it's only the CPU guys, because our guys never get to that shit. What are you posing for? Oh. <laughs> uh. should say, which pose are you using, first of all? Come on. Jordan needs a home run. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, maybe that'll help my views. Two outs. Outside. Gonna count one and two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's gonna end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more Jesus. down the middle. Is he gonna reach because of that wild pitch? <laughs> that's crazy. Here, let's do it. Let's do it right now. Cardinals. Let's go. Contreras hit a home run, so let's take a pick of him. He hasn't done anything yet, but I want to get a picture of him. All right, at least I have two to pick from. I don't think I've ever put Contreras on one of my thumbnails, and I haven't used Jordan Walker for a while. Oh, man. Come on. Hammered foul. I cue him back to working out every other day, which means I'm not working out today. Working out tomorrow. Got to lose 20 pounds. Feel better about myself. Yeah. Not sore after uh, working out two of the last three days. So that's always a good thing. Not going overboard, which causes injuries, which I've done in the past multiple times. <laughs> Good fade and sinking action of that changeup got that hitter to roll over. Arroyo at the plate for the third One time strike. as he comes up empty there. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. The next offering misses. Now one and two. The Cardinals holding on to a two-run lead in the top half of the six. Change up. Good job to fight that one off.
You rolled that over. You knew you were dominating that AB and he gets that little bloop shit. <laughs> Fucking hate Albies in this game. I don't mind him in real life, but man, he's a pain in the ass in this game. There we go. Fuck, like I said, I hate this son of a bitch in this game. His strike zone was so small, you got to throw everything down the middle of the plate. Albies, Altuve, Termar Johnson, all these fucking midgets playing this game. Come on. All of this after that little bloop ass hit. That should have been a home run. He's got it, and there's two away. Now the left fielder, Jared Kelman. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Come on. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He should have favorable hitters count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And a foul ball. Harris leads off first with two down to the inning. Got him. All right. Let's get some runs here and get him out of the game. Fucking Albies kills me. And we're back. Well, we go bottom six. Now up the Cardinals number four hitter, Nolan Gordon. That's a double. We throw that shit down the middle of the plate. We're going to hammer it. And he's gone. The Oscar Yanoa. Slider, fastball, change up. Ah, don't sling at that. Take a pitch, man. Take a fucking pitch. We got to get the ball to the right side of the infield. Got to move him up so we can get him in. Trying to shoot that to right. Now we gotta just defend the strike zone here. And here it comes. There it is. That's in the corner. It's only gonna be a single because it's a slow runner and a little short porch there that he bounced the ball off. But that gets it a run. There we go. Come on, Lars. Need tack on runs. Good pitch. Thought that was outside. Snapped off at the bottom. Almost hit me. Ooh, I didn't miss that pitch. Double barrel action in the bullpen. Dylan Lee, the left hand, up and throwing. Poche getting loose as well. Yeah, he's trying to get a, a ground ball. We're just going to keep everything in the air. <clears throat> this was later, like the eighth or ninth. I'd run for, I would have ran for Arenado and stole second before that. That. But right now, one run game, we need his defense. Come on, Mason. So right now, after this game's over, I gotta go to the bathroom because I just drank a half a pot of coffee. <clears throat> Two and the count. Here it comes. Why would I swing at that over my head? Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that would be three and zero right now. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Drifts towards it. 
Braves and Dodgers are both overpowered. Come on, Alec. God. Need Donovan back so bad. Helps our defense. Helps our offense. Way out in front. It was a 96 mile an hour fastball, and we were way out in front. Two outs. In the air, Man, we were late on that one, and that's going to be a third out. All right, well, we got the lead. Nolan did his job. Let's see where Cutliff is pitch wise. 76 pitches. This should be his last inning. Totally missed my spot. That's a really good take. Shit. All right, he's coming out. Off to a good start with a lead off now. Always feels amazing getting. Yeah, no problem, Q. Trying not to lose this game. You wanted a swing. Got him. There we go. Dangerous hitter. What's up, Jay? Yeah, I know. I have that same problem when I go into somebody's stream and, and ad rolls, and I ask him a question, and then the ad rolls, and I don't hear the answer. <laughs> it's always a pain in the ass. There we go. Sit down. How you doing, Jay? Yeah, I don't have a lot of extra cash to be uh, subbing to channels right now. I canceled all of my subs right now. Newt, get there. All right, through seven. Yeah, Q, if I get a, a full-time job, I'll have a lot more money to do all that shit. But right now... Yeah. I said I was going to go to the bathroom. Didn't do it. After we bat, I have to go. There we go, Wilson. Base hit up the middle. Bring back the Expos? Yeah, they should have uh, helped them build a stadium in Toronto and not move to Washington in the first place. Oh, Tommy got all of that one. There's no way he's catching that ball. We're going to send him. I'm going to hold him at second, and Contreras is going to score. And yes, there we go. Got all of that. All right, Jaywalk. Still looking for your 30th home run. Hang that shit over the middle and I'll hit it a long way. Late. 
That was the pitch to hit, and we were late. What? PlayStation's been acting up lately. This Cardinal season, we're uh, trying to hang on to the best record in the National League, and we've been giving away some uh, some some games in the standings. What are you talking about? Real life baseball. Real life baseball is fucking nuts. Be nice if we go back to the '80s style of baseball. Mm. <clears throat> We're into. Come on. Right-hander kick steals. It's a great slider. I thought that was going inside, and it broke hard. Yeah. Well, that's what happens sometimes when you mismanage. Toronto doesn't know what they want to do. The White Sox suck. I don't know why Marlins are getting rid of Jazz. It's not like he's going to cost them a shit ton of money. He's not that great of a player to begin with. Ah. All right, six outs to go. Needed that extra run. All right, we want Albies to pitch. All right, so we're going to go. We're going to leave Duvall in for two batters because I don't want Albies to face a lefty. And if we bring in a lefty, we'll bring him in for Harris. There's one out. Kept him in the park. There we go. <clears throat> now we got to bring in a lefty. And we're just going to go straight to Matt Sui. No. Go with JoJo. We'll just leave him in and get the save. There we go. All right, three more outs to go. Let's see if we can get another run or two. And now, Nolan Arenado. And a pitch. And it takes low for ball one. If he gets the second base, we'll run for him. Ah, don't swing at that. Can't do anything with it. We'll wait to see if he gets to second base because I don't want to burn his defense if I don't have to. <laughs> Try to golf that. We are way behind. He's trying to get a ground ball double play, so let's set our sights a little lower. Hammered foul. His eyes got big. He saw that change up way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. The pitch. That one misses, and that's ball one. Would we'll chase that time. Kicks and deals. 
Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Runner at first with no outs here. There's double play. That's what I was afraid of. Mason Wynn next up for the Cardinals. Just get this game over with. All right. Three outs to go. Go, JoJo. All set to start the ninth in this one. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Orlando Arcia gets the slider in there for a strike. Stand there and take a change up for strike three. Works for me. And next for Atlanta, Jared Kelman. That's in the dirt. Base is empty one away. You're in the top of the ninth. Flips the corner. And it's a ball to strike. Next offering misses down and away. The Got him. There we go. One more to go. Come on, boys. Carlito, welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Missing. Got him. And that's a winner. That's a winner. Then had a little time to think about it before he went back out to get the final three outs of this ball game. Nonetheless, outstanding job to get the save and secure the win. For his team, the five-three final score in this one. Three hits for Arenado, two for Gorman, two for Contreras. Gorman, Arenado, Contreras with home runs. Cutliff is twelve and seven now. Can't believe he's not in the uh, Rookie of the Year race. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Got one more game to play. I got to go to the bathroom, so. Once we advance, I'm going to give you the uh, thanks for watching screen. Or not thanks for watching, but be right back screen. And I'll be back as quick as I can. Give me one second. One more full game to play. Oh, for the those of you that weren't here last night, 
Mizzou is going to be my uh, gameplay dynasty for uh, college football 25. So we'll run through those uh, screens real quick so you can see those before we play last game. So new intro music, new uh, Be Right Back music, and uh, what are we going to do here? Let's do... Let's do that. And let's go here. All right. Here's my starting soon screen for uh, college football. And then, uh, my overlay for my camera is black and gold. And then that's the background. Um, maybe, can we pull this down? Just look like, let me put it here. It's a little better. Might have to shrink that logo down and make it fit in that space. We'll see. <clears throat> and then uh, just chatting. All right, so those are all the new ones for college football. Got new intro for starting soon, new music for Be Right Back, and uh, thank you. Yeah, I did that the other day. Um, just got to get ready to go, so. All right, standings-wise, 93 and 59, so only a one-game lead over the Dodgers. It was a five game lead and we're half game behind the Rangers. All right. This is a huge series against the Dodgers because if we lose three out of four. We're going to be game behind them in the standings for the best record. We, uh, we need to do this. So Manoa lost right here. One to nothing last time. So let's see if we can do this at home. Hold on. Let me, let me check. Two to three weeks. So it says two to three weeks. Two to three weeks. One, two. So if Donovan comes back on the shorter side, he'll be back for the first round of the playoffs. If it's three weeks, he's going to miss the first round of the playoffs. Although if it's a matter of days, I would just leave a pitcher off, keep him on the active roster so that when he is healthy, he can step right in and play. So... Hey, no problem. Go eat your food, Lurk. Thank you for hanging out, Q. Good to see you. So, uh, all right, here we go. Come on. Need a big game right here. Hold on. Let me adjust this. Let's go with it's JC and Newby there. Contreras up one spot, actually up two spots. <clears throat> yeah, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. We uh, we beat them two out of three at their place last week. So, all right, here we go. Big three to one win. Trevor Rogers blew the game. Home run by Gorman and Walker got his 30th extra inning. That was a walk-off home run by Jordan Walker. Mason Miller, 7-2 in relief. Manoa pitched great. All right, that gives us a two-game lead. And we're going to pitch this game here with Bueller against Otani. Be our last full game of the regular season. And we'll sim all the rest of these. So Bobby Miller, Framber Valdez. Let's go. Let me lose five to two. Diaz and Jansen with home runs. Edmund with a home run. All right, one game lead. Come on, Bybee. Can you get your 17th? No, another one to nothing loss. 
Corbin Burns with a shutout. Damn. We are tied. All right. We are tied with one game left against the Dodgers. And we got six games against these baby backs from Chicago and Washington. 67 wins, 65 wins. So we really need to win this game. <clears throat> we've done against them all year LA there there did we play all of our games against LA in a 10 day period yeah all right so we won two out of three we've lost two out of three so this is a tiebreaker so if we uh, end up tied comes down to this and uh, we're playing with Walker Bueller. How is it an alternate? Oh, it says Dodgers, that's why. Do not want to give him a rest. We got we need everybody. And these guys are these guys are cold. So let's see. How can we do this? No, Contreras is hot, so we don't want to do that. He's cold. He's a righty. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Let's do this. Let's put Tommy at second. And we'll play Victor Scott in center field. Proves our defense. Shake up the sticks. Game of the week. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. This is the game of the week on MLB The Show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. Our starter right, in Bueller missed Bueller. two months with an injury earlier. He's been pitching well since he got back, for the most part. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the There we go. Got him on the knuckle curve. <clears throat> Shut up. He swung at the pitch, dumbass. It's so difficult to get on the same plane and even think about squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at bat alive. Ground ball up the middle, that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Here's Shohei Otani with just one hit and 11 at bats in the series so far. Looked like he was a little bit up. You can never say enough about Otani. 2023 became the first player in AL NL history to hit 40 plus home runs and record more than 10 wins in a season. Yeah, the righty deals. Fouls one off, two and two. Got him. There we go. It's one for 12 in the series. Pick the corner there. 
slapped hard the other way, but foul. Stays alive. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. All right. Good start. Good start. Come on. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's the switch inning second baseman, Tommy Edmund. Ripped on the ground a second. As soon as Donovan comes back, he's going to the leadoff spot because Tommy's not doing it. <laughs> Misses for ball one. Otani, the former rookie of the year, he throws a slur, a four seamer, a cutter, a splitter, and he works in a sinker. Next pitch is downstairs. He doesn't have the greatest durability, so make him throw a lot of pitches. We can get him out of the game by the fifth or sixth latest. Swing a foul. <coughs> While he catches that, I'm going to edit my stream because we don't have the best record in baseball anymore. Kind of pissed that away this month. All right, Nolan. You've been hitting 300 all year and you're tailing off here at the end. <clears throat> Needs three home runs to get to 50. Not sure if that'll get done or not. Be nice if we could get one here. Ugh. Chased. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. And that one almost one got ball. Two strikes. Two down, nobody on. And this is inside. Two, two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Two outs. Three and two. Boat, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. In the air, pretty it's gonna get caught. Center field, out, sizing this one up. No wind at all. Flags are just hanging on the pole. All right. <laughs> all set for the start of the inning. And now it's Alec Bohm. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Bohm getting to start at third. Hitting fifth in today's lineup. He joined the team as a free agent. Now one and one. Assigned to home plate duty is Ricky Holiday. Boog, and something I've heard players saying about Ricky's strike zone is how he will call the high strike. That could be something that's tough to deal with, especially if you've got a pitcher out there coming at you with high velocity. Just miss. Trying to get him to chase, he won't chase. That's ball three. Here comes the pitch. Good plate appearance Fuck. there. Able to take the walk. That's a great He's a much better hit against lefties, too, so should have been challenging him. <clears throat> Got him. There we go. Stand there and take it. Stepping in, Trey Sweet. Swing it a foul straight back. Kicks and fires. Into center. Settles under this one. Drops into the glove. Now the right fielder, Jose Ramos. On the ground to third. Whips it All right. That ends the frame. So <coughs> we head to the Get the sticks going here. And here is Jordan Walker. Right now 
with the fifth most RBIs in the NL. In there at the knees. It's 0-1. All right, singing, you know him, a dork. Shohei Otani. Go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. 21. He tossed a complete game through 99 pitches. Get this, 81 strikes. It was the most strikes thrown with less than 100 pitches in a game since they started tracking pitch counts. That's just unreal. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a quick out number one. So digging in, Lars Nukbaum. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100. That oh. misses, and it's one and one. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Up Why are they swing at that? Now the throw to first <coughs> the and there's two away. Come on. It's like playoff pressure, which I need. I need to do better playing in the playoffs with this team. I had no problem with the Rockies and the A's, but this team is driving me insane. There we go. I'll take that hit. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. Here's a hitter who's been strong in the clutch lately. More than an RBI per game over his last 10. Don't swing at that pitch. We can't hit it. Well, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Just trying to fight that off. Carve me up. Hunter Fiducia? Fiducia. Hunter Fiducia. What a name. What a name. Next offering is foul back. The wine and the pitch. That one ripped right center field. That's back. Said 99 speed in center field to go track everything down. Mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. Top of the third, no score. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Two away. Yanni Diaz now. And he's already singled in this game. He swings and fouls one off. Two down, nobody on. Slider misses outside. The guy at the plate could recognize Slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Got him. There we go. That's a strikeout. Dodgers. And we're still knotted at zero. As we go... Of the third and stepping in for the Cardinals, Mason Wynn. Ball one, no strikes. That slurve is just filthy. Looks like a strike and just goes right off the table. All right, so we're going to look up and in high and make him throw pitch up, and then it still drops off. Jesus. There would be strikes even if I didn't swing. They're in the strike zone. That missed by a lot. Two and two. Three. Swing and a miss struck him out. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner. When with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team 
just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Safe. Oh, come on. You know, I think barehanded grabs might be one of the best looking plays in baseball. It takes tremendous body control to bend down there, pick it up, and then get into a position to make a quick, accurate throw. Left handed bat, 99 speed. Guns him down. Still scoreless. Back here at Bush Stadium. Shohei Otani up to the dish. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. So back in 2023, Shohei hit a home run, stole a base. Noah, welcome in. Pitching out in the same game. You'll never guess the last person to do it. Pablo Sandoval. Oh, you're good. I feel like I've heard that one. <clears throat> yep, I'm from St. Louis. Lived here my entire life except for five years when I was in Colorado going to college. Thank you. Yeah, one of my uh, Twitch buddies, we're in a football league together here too for NCAA 14, sent me this shirt. See if he can hit the slider. And the pitch. Swings, fouls it off, and he breaks his back. Righty delivers. Damn it. This guy's gonna drive me insane. In the air, right side. Lars will get that. Come on, come on. Now the left fielder, Miguel Vargas. Foul ball there. Two outs. Strike two. Got him. Let's go. The one hit oh, yeah. In the fourth, no score. St. Louis, ready to go, bottom four. Here's Josh Taylor. Otani, back to work. And there's a foul ball. Here's your one. I think if we win this game, we clinch our division, too. Downstairs and outside. And that's the way. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps Let's unlock go. this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Three there we go. The runner on. <clears throat> Come on, Nolan. Need a big fly here. It's three away from 50. Come on. It's by him. Looks got a guy in scoring position. Um, these two teams are tied for first in the National League. And they've split their series, season series. Whoever wins this game would have the tiebreaker for uh, number one seed in the National League. We had a five-game lead on them, but they got hot, and we kind of played middling. Pitching has uh, been up and down. Hitting has been up and down. Ah, don't chase. Got to get the ball up. Come on, Jaywalk. <clears throat> He's got 30 and 109 right now, so you got two guys with 30 and 100. Come on, hang one. Let me hit this fucking ball. The ballpark village. There 
we go. Three and two. What's up, FG? You're off Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. There you go. Hey, I'm off all week next week, but we got to be doing that look for a job stuff. So wife's like, uh, do your job looking in the morning, and then you can play uh, college football in the afternoon. She just left this morning for a four-day trip with a bunch of her girlfriends. How did I miss that pitch? So that's why we're streaming every day. Hearing <laughs> me streaming every day through Monday. Come on, Lars. Got to be the shoes. You don't remember the Jordan commercials with. Spike Lee. Oh, off his glove. He's not going to breathe that out. He's all he did. Wow. They called that safe, but they didn't. They called Victor Scott out. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Come on, Nolan. Get to the end of your time with the Cardinals. I want to get you a World Series. Oh, Breaking Ben. I haven't seen him in a long time. Love Breaking Benjamin. Last time I saw Breaking Ben, they were at a huge concert. It was Breaking Benjamin, Papa Roach, Sick Puppies, Shine Down, and Nickelback. Ooh, Hailstorm, there you go. Ah, jammed me. Yep. Lizzie Hale. I wish she would sing more and scream less, but. She's phenomenal. All right, let's drop this knuckle curve low outside corner. Yeah, CR guys dive, but they don't make the play. They dive, they make the play. Knuckle curve for the K. Take the strike right down the middle of the plate. A double play to get us out of this mess. Why would you go to third? That ball's in shallow center field. He's got a good arm. You just ran into an out. That was terrible. I was trying to see. It won't, it won't give me uh, Scott. It's just a pitcher and a hitter. I don't want to go through all the other menus. Fuck it. It's not worth it. There we go. There, Walker. There we go. Woo. Wasn't sure he was going to get that. All right. Scoreless in the fifth. Here, you know what? Let's do this. Put this back where it was before. That'll bring our uh, hitting back. <laughs> I flinched. I flinched, and it was enough to register as a swing. George, welcome in, 49er Pimp. 
we uh we have fallen back we had a five game lead on the dodgers for the best record and now it's tied so whoever wins this game has the tiebreaker head to head and will be uh number one in the national league with a week to go yep. got my pimping shirt on yeah and a pitcher's duel here we got to get otani out of this game because that slurve is fucking nasty you foul yeah stop swinging at the first fucking pitch man No Freddie Freeman. No Will Smith. That's a little high. No Mookie Bats either. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball. Got him. There we go. Up the ladder. Seven Ks. <laughs> and that's gonna be a double especially with Otani's speed got work to do hey they had what second and third in the first inning and nobody out and we struck out the side right Good throw and he's out. God damn. So sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Where's that pitch? Lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. That clips the zone. And that is strike one. So critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run on fumes a little bit. Mechanics can drop off. And we know they need him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October. Ball. Always KD, welcome in. Yes, it is. I'm going to be streaming every day until uh, that game releases. So, trying to get this Cardinals season over with. There we go. Before the football game launches. Yep. I didn't do that right. Shout out. Why is it? Oh, it's on cap blocks. That's why. At the play, Miguel Vargas is over two with a pair of strikeouts. There we go. Pimp night, huh? Slapped foul. No, I don't play Road to Glory, so I wasn't interested. Just like, just like Ultimate Team, I'm never gonna play that fucking game. So, no interest. Road to Glory. I didn't even enjoy it back in the day, so I just want I just want to get my hands on the game and play regular Dynasty. Yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Welcome in. Thank you, man. Three and zero with a guy that can steal. I think we need to take two pitches. What do you think? Definitely taking this pitch. Right. Do we take three two? Nope. It's too good of a pitch. Jimmy, are we going to advance through the bowl games? I just want to see uh, final rankings and final recruiting stuff. I know nobody cares. Ooh. Yeah, 
ground right side. Diaz steps on the bag. And that quickly. All right, Nolan. We need you. We need you right here. He needs three home runs for 50. And a pitch. And a week to go. You get three in one game. We just need him to hit one right now. Batani's getting tired. That's good. Ball three. I will take a walk. Here we go. Tying run is on. Jordan Walker with his 30 home runs and 100 RBIs is up. We got two down. Come on. Give me a pitch. Oh, off the end of the bat. Damn it. Bringing in a new pitcher. New arm out of the bullpen, Jojo Romero. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. He immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side. Same side he throws from. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. That misses the zone. And yeah, the count one and two. The shortstop takes the ball. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. And next for L.A., Jose Ramos. Right through there for a strike. Well, they kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way, maybe more at a time. But you've got to give some credit to the pitchers that they had a great plan against him. Bases empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. Got him. There we go. Let's go. Number two. Now this pitching staff has been merciless against him in this one. I mean, he struck out six times in this series. And we've seen no adjustment out of him so far. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Fought off foul. Got him. Sit your ass down. He's out of energy. We've only got one hit, guys. Damn. Picked the wrong time to quit hitting. Hmm. All right, we'll look down here then. Fuck me. It's going to get caught. It's not deep enough. Just missed. 
tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. That's the third, and that should be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Around first and hustling for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have. Base open at first now, and here's the intentional walk. They might be trying to set up the double play with nobody out. And up next for Los Angeles, Shohei Otani. They had a strike in there. No outs, runners at first and second. Comes up empty, that's strike two. No ball, two strikes. Three. And that's the first out. <laughs> well, quick power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They try to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Well, at the plate now, that's ball one. Missed that's with a changeup. And now 2-0. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. That's offered in there for a strike. It's two and two. Got him. <laughs> yes, let's go. Every out he's had has been a strikeout. That's how you pitch out of a jam, boys. Let's go. And that's the third out. <laughs> Dodgers strand a couple, but they hold a one nothing lead. Woo! <laughs> Back here in St. Louis, bottom of the eighth, leading off, Mason Wynn. The pitch. Yeah, that skips into there. Otani. You can hear Harry Carrier. Let's get some runs. Six beers in. He's out of gas, too, so. Mm. That cutter is so slow, it's like a changeup. Yeah, he was. Pitch count in great shape. It seems he might have a chance to finish it. Lighting this shit off. We're in, we're in swing mode. We're in battle. Foul balls off. Ah, I'm gonna chase that bullshit. This is a dude with 99 speed. Got to get him on base. And be really patient right now. 3 0. We're taking at least two pitches. I'll take my chances 3 and 2. There we go. There's our stolen base guy. And he's coming out of the game. He just made it easier because Tommy Edmond loves left-handed pitching. And this guy's slow to the plate, and there's the tying run at second base. <clears throat> Oof. See if they can turn this into a big run. Runner at second here, one gone. Next yep. 
pitches outside. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. So the tying run is second. Oh, man, oh, man. I don't know how you Tommy's got wheels, too. We get both these guys on. As it gets. Battle. That shit just ran in on me. It's all right. We still got the speed guy. He's going to get an extra step here at second base. And Naylor, even though it's lefty-lefty, he's got great contact. He's too fucking slow to beat it out. Damn it. Why would you swing at the first pitch? Why? the mound for the Cardinals, Camilo Doval. Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. Off the mark there. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Sweeney stands in now and watches strike one. And that's a strike. Ground ball right side. Good thing is we have Gorman and uh, Walker and all those guys coming up in the bottom of the ninth. So everybody has a chance to hit one out of the park. I just forgot who the Dodgers closer is. All right, boys, let's go. We got the right guys coming up. Alzale, huh? Come on, Nolan. Oh, we just missed it. Fuck. Fuck. Walker hits better against righties. The hope and optimism is shrunk a little bit, but they got a couple more outs to work with. They got to find a way to get a runner on and get one around the bases. Swings and misses. I am so hungry right now. I have not had breakfast. <laughs> I can't spell. Adios, <laughs> Four forty six. See the replay. That home run was a no doubt. As we dive into the numbers, that was a laser. Look at that shit. Boom. Yeah. The other one I have works just as good. All right, Lars, let's go. Can we end this with your 100th career home run? He needs one more home run for 100. Yeah, 
because that just compounds things Ooh. makes the slump even longer. Never seemed to help, never helped me. All tied That's up. only our second hit of the day. Got under it. All right, Arenado. Come on, Nolan. You have the only other hit. Dead on the inner half. Here you go, boys. Hitting a walk off homer is the kind of thing you dream about, bro. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a moment right there. Double shot on an empty stomach. We had three hits. <laughs> Two of them were home runs. All right, now we hold the tiebreaker. We still have six games left, guys. We have six games left. <clears throat> wow. What a fucking game. <laughs> Look at it. Our double A team went 52 and 17. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Look at that. <clears throat> this dude is a D potential, but he just rakes. He just ra he has 29 steals. This is a guy we just drafted. Doesn't have a lot of, lot of uh, power. Got good speed, walks for a lot of decent. This is the number one prospect in baseball. He has no power. <clears throat> Could move him to second base. He's like our replacement for... Uh, Brendan Donovan. This is a real player. Real player. We just traded for this dude. These guys are all real players. We drafted him. <clears throat> Look at this dude. C potential killing it. We drafted this guy. <clears throat> ah, that uh, shot's choking me up. His per nines are too low. He's going to have to stay in the minors for a while. All these guys are guys we drafted. Look at this guy. 120 innings in relief. I'm going to move him to starting pitcher. We just traded for him. We have to move him to starter. Triple A. What are these guys doing? They're done for the year. Sheldon Parks is a guy we drafted. Elijah Green we traded for. Valencia, I think we traded for. Luke and Baker is our slugging first baseman, but he's out. Dislocated ankle. This was our first round pick last year. <clears throat> Just passed. <coughs> he's uh he's gonna gotta do some work on the hitting side. Go Roby, eh, it's okay. Barriera is okay. Sellers pitched well. Tink. So far in the majors, he's two and two with a six forty four, but down in Triple A, six and three with a uh, two thirty four. <clears throat> Cloffenstein is killing it in relief, and he's only 
68 overall. Yeah. Barlow. <clears throat> All right. One game lead over them. We clinched our division with that win. So. We are two games behind the Rangers for the best record in baseball. Um, what was the All-Star game? Nationally won. So we get to the World Series, we have home field advantage. And Jordan Romano is back. All right, well, that affects <clears throat> our roster. Somebody needs to go down. <laughs> and I'm thinking it's going to be Andrew Painter. We're going to leave Matsui in the closing role. <clears throat> Good to go. Let me save. God, can't believe we got both home runs in the ninth to win that game. <laughs> what the fuck? <clears throat> All right. I'm going to do something kind of weird. But I'm going to do this to uh, get us pumped, not only for next week, but for um, for these last few games. And uh, give me a second here. We're going to go here. Here, let me turn off my camera. Let's slide this over here. Since we're all getting pumped for the uh, new game, this is for uh, this is this is just for fun because uh, we're celebrating the end of NCAA 14 and beginning of the new game, so. Let's go. Cause I don't give a fuck what you say. Yeah, I'ma do shit my way. So you can go kick rocks. I'ma stack bricks up, build what I want to make. Yo, I got a lot of shit to say, so I'ma do this every day. I'll be writing things until I'm fucking buried in my grave. Six feet deep, wonder, but my body won't decay. Cause my messages are timeless, so they'll put them on display. Oh yeah, I rap with a certainty. I have a sense of urgency, a message for return. For everyone internally, I had some people burden me, but now they fucking learn to see I ain't the one to fuck with. Now they looking nervously, and I don't really care what you think of me respectfully. You can kick rocks if you think you're fucking better. See, I will outwork you, turn you to an enemy. Hurt you so bad that you're gonna need some therapy. I got the motherfucking recipe. I've been cooking up hits, I'ma leave a legacy. You'll be looking small when you're standing right next to me. I'm 5'10, bitch, but I'm 10 feet. Now don't give a fuck what you say. I'ma do shit my way So you can go kick rocks I'ma stack bricks up Build what I want to make Cause I don't give a fuck what you say Yeah, I'ma do shit my way So you can go kick rocks I'ma stack bricks up Build what I want to make Yeah, I'ma do it my way Shut your mouth, you can save it I'm the same dude that got his 
shit my way So you can go kick rocks, I'ma stack bricks up, build what I want to make Cause I don't give a fuck what you say Yeah, I'ma do shit my way So you can go kick rocks, I'ma stack bricks up, build what I want to make missed that because i clicked off all right whatever <clears throat> all right goodbye ncaa 14 let's go college football 25 let's go all right cutliff and steel and we lose five to four edmund and gorman with home runs miller took the loss canario with a home run come on Manoa gets a 9-3 win. Walker and Gorman with home runs. Manoa pitched great again. <clears throat> we are a half game ahead of the Dodgers. Do they play? No, they're off. All right. This can get us to a full game ahead. <clears throat> or a full game behind. Full game ahead or tied. Come on, Fromber. Got the win. 12 to 5. Let's go. Walker, Naylor, Gorman, Contreras with two. Fromber gave up five, but gets his 15th win. Let's go. Let's save while we're at it. <clears throat> All right, 97 and 62. One game lead there. Rangers have 100 wins. I'm not going to get the best record in baseball, but it won't matter because we're going to have home field in the World Series if we can get there. All right. Bybee trying to get his 17th win. Where is he looking at? Carroll leads for Gorman. Got his 50th. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Strider, Otani, yeah. Bybee's not even in the conversation anymore because he doesn't have 200 strikeouts. Here we go. Four to nothing win. There we go. Home run by Contreras and win. That's three home runs in two games by Contreras. Bybee, six shutout innings. Duvall gets a save. Where are we at? We have a two-game lead over the Dodgers with two games to go, and we have the tiebreaker. So we just clinched number one seed, boys. We just clinched number one. All right, let's save this. Kenzie Gore, Walker Bueller. <clears throat> Let's player lock. And who do we want to do? Let's do Mason Wynn. <coughs> All right. James Wood has a really good shot at winning rookie of the year over there. You can't see him, but he's on Washington's in the middle of their uh, batting order. Welcome to St. Louis and Bush State. <clears throat> Come on, Walker. Get your 10th win, man. Let's go. All right, what's the score? No score. One on. Nobody out in the second. <clears throat> Let's go. Come on. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on. 
catcher's mind and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Outside low. See that. Two. If he gets one more, it's 25. He swings yeah. and hits a fly ball. Center field. Gets under it. Didn't get it. And he makes the catch. One away. So first and second with one goal. All right, two on, one out. Scoreless game. <clears throat> on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Wouldn't chase that time. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner Ooh. second has a very Blew good right by me. and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. 2-1. And that one fouled off. Runners at first and second with one gone here in the second game of the series. All right, Mason Battle, let's go. Don't have the highest clutch, so we're going to have to do this on our own. There we go, three and two. Give me a pitch to drive. Let's go. Come on. And we hit a line drive. Weak line drive at that. <clears throat> All right, one nothing in the sixth. New pitcher. Way out in front of that pitch. All right, look in her half. Drive the ball. That was the Kila swinging right there. <laughs> into a double play. The shortstop takes the ball. Come on. Badly with that 0-2 fastball. Come on. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. Right-handed reliever. Three down on strike. That was not a swing. That was a check swing. All right, five nothing. And stepping in for the card. Gorman with a three-run double. <clears throat> He's still not giving up on his MVP, but I don't think he's going to get it. There we go. Base hit. It's not going to score a run because he's not fast enough. Take the hit, though. Come on, Jaywalk. Park one, man. Let's go. Three and one. All right. Bases are loaded. Who's up? Come on, Nolan, you're 0 for 3. Let's go, Nolan, Nolan, Nolan. He's going to strike out. He's got 0 and 2 count with two out. Broken bat. He's going to be out easily. All right. Is that the end of the game? Yep, Cardinals win. 5 nothing shutout. Bueller gets the win, so he's got 10. He'd have had 15 if he doesn't get hurt. <laughs> Dodgers lose. So a three game lead with one one game to go. Ooh. Well, if the Rangers lose and we win, I think we have the best record in baseball. No, they swept us. They swept us. All right, Cutliff against Beckham. I already had three minutes. Three hours, not three minutes. You guys want me to pitch with Cutliff? He's not even on the list. This is crazy. Let's go. Let's pitch with Cutler. <clears throat> I'm going to say it right now. We're going for a no-hitter, boys. 
Singy, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here. And as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it. Come on. And I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. Next pitch in for a strike. And the count is 2-2. Two and two. Got him. There we go. Good start. <laughs> oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly. Two down. This guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Hebert Ruiz in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball still 0-2. The lefty fires. Got him. Let's go. Come on, boys. Get the sticks going. Second inning set to go. Now it's going to be Aaron Sabato. The pitch. Out front and foul to the left side. Cutler, a 6'3 lefty. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, a chop fly, a two seam, and he occasionally <laughs> uses a curve. One up, one down. And the batter now, Brady House. in the dirt. That's in there. And the count one and one. Swing and a line drive slicing into right field. All right, two down. Here, puts it away for the out. That's out number There's James Wood trying to be rookie of the year. Chase on a slider down and away. No score here in the second. Got him. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, Bats. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Now here is Justin Henry Malloy. When did they sell me on it? Um, I did it so that I could um, play in the NWO. So it was a while ago. <clears throat> Back to work. That one finds the zone. Going on. It was way before they started uh, releasing shit on, on video. I was going to uh, do do Sim Dynasties regardless. I was hoping they were going to uh, have good gameplay. So yeah, I ordered a while ago. <coughs> I would say May. Early June. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. One out, base is empty. Up and in, one and one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Got him. Let's go. Come on. Come on. And next is the designated hitter, Trey Lipscomb. First pitch, and he just misses. 
Top of the third, no score. Next offering is in for a strike. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Bounce to the right side. It's nine up and nine down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Got a one nothing lead. Well, no perfect game. It's all right. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Cruz up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. Right through there for a strike. The Nationals hitless. No, I lifted yesterday, so we're we're off today. And there goes the no hitter. <coughs> right now, I'm I'm doing about. Two thirds of my normal workout that I was doing back in the day. And that's mostly to uh, keep me from overdoing it and getting hurt again. Plus, I'm uh, dropping weight as I get further into. Oh, come on, this fucking game. To keep from. Uh, Injuring myself by lifting too much weight late in the uh, session. So we're going heavy early and light at the end. Come on! Fuck off! Yeah, what I did, George, I started like a week or so ago. I started doing like 100 push-ups a day for about a week. That's all I was doing. I was just doing push-ups. And I was sore as shit doing that. And once I recovered from that, then I started going back to a regular workout so I could do flies. And lat pull downs and all that good stuff. <clears throat> Curls and overhead presses. Come on, man. Challenge the guy with the fastball. And now James Wood. Ground ball up the middle. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. As a run scores on the play. One down. Here's the left fielder, Justin Henry Malloy. Out front, rip foul. The 01. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning inning double play, boo. Oh man. Man, oh man. I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And a swing and a miss. Huge strike out there. Here's the second baseman. Caught looking his first time up. That one in there across the letters. Two outs. Bases are full. Smash to the left side. They get the force. That ends the inning. And welcome back to the ball. All right, well, Contreras hit another home run to tie it. And he deals. That one fouled off. Lipscomb, 26 years old, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 325 in his last 10 games. Kicks and deals. Ooh. Ooh. Especially with two strikes. And 
That one hit to first. <coughs> and he handles it himself for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Nunez in the box now. No balls and a strike. Edge of the zone for a strike. Oh, a two down. And now the lefty. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Base is empty one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. Got him. Go. Like Go. Well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitch. All right. Come on, offense. Give me some runs. Let's go. <clears throat> Back here at Bush Stadium. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. Cutler. Back to work. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. Right through there for a strike. One ball, one strike. And another ball. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Got him. Back door. Go. Tremendous job bringing that ball back over the plate. He gets just enough of it to get the call. And I'll tell you what, as a hitter, it starts out of the zone. It looks really far away. And for it to catch the outside corner, you just have to tip your <coughs> Toss to Naylor. And a couple of quick outs. Next to hit, Brady House. And a strike on the outside edge. Two out spaces empty. That one finds the zone. That's strike two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Mm. Did not chase. Fouls it back with two strikes. Two outs. Damn. Dude, quit fouling pitches off. There we go. Did some runs. Let's go. There we go. Walker and Naylor. Two bases loaded walks to give us the lead. Wins one the central. There you go. Got him. Let's go. One more out. I think I'm out of the game. Let's see if we can get double digit K's here. We need to get his K's per nine up, so we need to strike out double digits as much as possible when we're using. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and Ooh. that's exactly what mm -hmm. you want on the mound. The Nets down by a pair here at the top half of inning number seven. Out to short, win. Jumps, throws. Got him. There we go. He's through seven. And we're going to come back out. And now it's 6-2 to because Mason Wynn got a two-run single. Let's go. Let's not fuck this up. Come on. Absolutely. When you consider over the course of a long season, guys putting a lot of stress on that elbow, on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of a hand of a guy like this because he's so competitive. Three and two now. 
Got him. <laughs> there we go. 10 Ks. Trying to bunt, huh? Get that, Newt. Get there, get there, get there, get there. There we go. Two down. Two runs over eight. Get him out of the game. Get somebody else in. Let's go. I don't need a complete game. There we go. Romano comes in. We got the win. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. And that's a winner. That's a winner. Walker, 34 homers. Contreras, 23 home runs. Cutliff, eight innings, three hits, two runs, two walks, ten strikeouts, thirteen and seven as a rookie. One bad inning. He no hit him outside of that one inning. <laughs> we got a hundred win season, one hundred and sixty-two, and we're the number one seed. Before we look at stats and league leaders, we're going to save. <clears throat> All right, Tanner Bybee, winning percentage. Nolan Gorman, home runs. Led the majors with 50 home runs. Nimmo hit 343. Gunner, 333. 213 hits for Carroll, 203 for Rice, 203 for Yelich. My God. 211 for Gunner. 58 doubles by Gunner. 56 for Corbin. 14 triples by Chirillo. 16 triples by Evan Carter. 41 by Julio and Seeger. We beat out Otani and Carroll. 50 home runs for Nolan Gorman. Ozzy Albies, 133 ribs. Beat me by two. Walker, 116. Shohei, 120 runs. Gorman had 110. Walker had 104. 46 steals by SD Ruiz. 37 by Trey and Rojas. 100 walks for Perdomo. 101 for uh, Shanwell. 100 for uh, Guerrero. Base, slugging. Corbin dropped under 700. And four guys slugging over seven, 600. 1100 OPS. Two more guys with a thousand. Nola had 17 wins. The Bybee had 17. So Bybee tied for the most wins in the National League. Javier had 19. Holderman from the Pirates had 50 saves. Dean Kramer, 224. Nola, 266. Cutliff, the fewest home runs allowed. Let's go. Six shutouts for Nola. My goodness. 230, 224 for Skeens. Look at all those guys with 200 strikeouts. Mano had 193, but that's a mix between Bybee who's with us. McClanahan, 224. He is a free agent. This was the guy that we wanted in the first draft, and we got taken two picks before us. Look at that. 200 strikeouts each of those two years. Dude's on fire. Eight complete games. 
230 innings pitched. Pitching war, Logan Webb. Dean Kramer. Batting war, Corbin Carroll, 11. <laughs> Gorman was 7.8. This is because he plays outfield and he plays second base. Gets skewed towards outfield. All right. Walker, Gorman, Naylor. Tommy rebounded. His batting average sucks. Last year, he had 26 and 100. Arnado is getting to the end. He's regressing. Mason Wynn, he's picking it up, though. Career high in home runs. Not stealing as many bases. Donovan... One to six days. All right. So there's a very good chance he is back for our first round. Um, I will put him. Can we get him off the IR? No, it says he's on the playoff roster. Okay. Good, good, good. I want him on the roster. So, Nuke Bar, Edmund Scott, Walker, Donovan. Says he is on the roster. Win, Arnado, Gorman, Regifo, Sajise, Sajese, Naylor, Davis, Contreras. Yep. Those two. Do, 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 do. Barlow. Mason Miller. No, Zach Thompson. Yeah, he needs to be added to the playoff roster. He needs to be one, two. Look at Cutliff. He's an 82 at 20. Bueller, Bybee. I need to remove somebody from the playoff roster. And for this first round, even though he's our second best player, he is not playing like it. But we're going to be playing every game. So that makes a difference. Um, how do we want to do this? Let's take Bueller off and we'll give Painter a chance. We're only going to need four pitchers, so it's going to put Painter in the bullpen. We're going to go like that. You know what? Let's let's flip these guys. Let's go cut left too. In fact, let me look. Let's do this. <laughs> We're going to take Zach Thompson off the playoff roster. Let's go. No cut left by B. Valdez. Painter long relief. Mason Miller long relief. Sandlin, Cano, Romano. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Gives us an extra bat. It's only a five game series. We don't need all the pitchers. We can re redo everything when we get to the NLCS. <clears throat> Let's save. And we are. Uh, we're going to sim forward and see who we play. What do we got? Cincinnati, Arizona, Atlanta, and Pittsburgh. How do I have an extra play? Yeah, 
It's Burleson. I don't need to add some. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, two, three, yes, yes. We don't need church on our fucking team. Cincinnati beats Arizona in the first game. Cleveland beats Seattle. Cardinals won the Texas League Championship. No, oh, we lost. All right, Cleveland knocked off Seattle, so they're going to play Texas. Baltimore is up 1-0 on the Yankees. Reds and Arizona are tied, and we play the winner of that. <clears throat> I would much rather play the Reds than Arizona. <clears throat> And Arizona wins. So we're going to play the Diamondbacks. Arizona lost the first one, came back and won the last two. Braves and Pirates are tied. Yankees and Baltimore are tied. <clears throat> so Baltimore beat the Yankees. And Pittsburgh knocked off the Braves. So the Dodgers are playing the Pirates. We're playing Arizona. Cleveland and Texas. Baltimore and Minnesota. Pick Burleson off. We'll leave Church on. <clears throat> and we have Donovan back. Let's fucking go. All right. I'm going to break up all these lefties by doing that. <clears throat> Donovan, Scott, Davis. Yeah, we'll do that. That's fine. All right. All right. Gifo, Edmund, Gifo, Naylor, Gorman, Quinn. Walker, Arenado. Arenado gets lefties. We're going to go with the JC against lefties. All right. Pitching rotation. Okay. All right. Well, when's breakfast? I got to eat. I have breakfast and lunch right now. <laughs> Go eat some eggs and toast. Um, 
then I got to turn around in three hours and eat again before I go watch five of my grandkids. <clears throat> um, pancakes. I could make pancakes, protein pancakes. I got some upstairs. I was going to make these personal pizzas that are about the size of a, a taco shell for dinner before I leave. So we got Gallon and Manoa, Cutliff and Rodriguez, Bybee and Fott. And this is uh, Valdez against Nelson. What's their roster look like? Montgomery's hurt, so that helps us. Bullpen's okay. They have no closer. All right. Their bullpen sucks. They got Moreno, who's good. Walker's good. Marte's good. And Geloff. And Madrigal. What the hell? How many second basemen are they going to collect? Suarez and Urias at third. Perdomo and, and Lawler, who's hurt. And he's out for the playoffs. Guriel and Teoscar. Wow. Okay. All right. We are done for today. We got 100 wins. What does that compare to? So we've won 100 games for three years in a row. Let me fix this. So we won 90 games. 101, 102, and 100. So we've won 100 games three years in a row. But we've lost in the NLCS, lost in the DS twice, NLCS last year. So we uh, we got to win. So we got work to do. All right, boys and girls, who can we go raid? Yeah, it's just an A. <laughs> A plus. Way better than fucking Hurricane. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Both gameplay and GM. <clears throat> We're going to go raid someone that I have not raided in a long time. Let's go hit up Dirty Casual. Want to go see Dirty Casual? He's playing, uh, he's, uh, he's playing NCAA, so let's go check him out. You guys can go chat with him. And, uh, I need to go eat. So, all right, raid is started. When you guys are ready, we'll go over there. I will be back tomorrow night. I would say seven to eight p.m. Central Time. We'll play our series against the Diamondbacks. We win that. We play the NLCS on Saturday. We win that. We play the World Series on Sunday at noon Central Time. All right, boys. You guys take care. Thank you for hanging out with me, everybody who came and left. Appreciate all you guys. Been getting great crowds lately. Cannot wait for the football to start. Let's go. So, anyway, you guys take care, and I will see you tomorrow night. Mm -hmm.